Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for your Dash Studio needs. And in this week's video, we're going to look at light presets and how light presets can save you a lot of time and a lot of effort creating those awesome scenes in Dash Studio. So let's go take a look. So here we are back in Dash Studio, my favorite place. And in this week's video, we're going to look at light presets. And we got a question from Arjun, one of our subscribers, and asking me to do a tutorial about light presets. And I said, why not? And actually, when I was thinking about this, uh, when I first started Dash Studio, I thought, what are light presets and how can you use them to benefit our rendering and make our lighting a lot easier, a lot simpler, and a lot quicker? So this is the reason for the video. So I've got here um, Monique 8 HD as my character. I've put in a, a pose, a position here that I've done myself, uh, different hairstyle and makeup, etc. So. I just want to show you here that this is actually the default environment and then what, how different it will look. So this is the default environment that comes with Dash Studio there. And it looks pretty good. Um, you know, the lighting looks pretty decent. But what, you, what you'll see now with light presets, we can take that to the next level. So I'm going to go to my content library because this is where I'm on light presets. And I have tons of light presets. So don't be phased. You know, I to be honest, I don't use half of these. It's things that I've downloaded and actually purchased and wasted a lot of money on. So I wouldn't really recommend buying loads. But the ones that I do use a lot of are these ones here, which I'll discuss right now. So this one here, Dreamlight. Dreamlight is great for lighting. He's like the best. If you want to know about lighting, download his tutorial, Dreamlight. You will know everything about lighting and everything you need to know about lighting. And that man is a master at lighting, let me tell you. And there's so much you can learn. But anyway, let's go to his presets. And the one I use most often is this one here. Uh, SLP HDRI IRA Soft 10K. And so with the lighting presets, what you get is you get different colors of lights. So you've got your cold light, warm light, white light, and then you've got a mixture here. And then you've got different backgrounds. Now, because they're HDRIs, what happens is you're fixed to that background. So whatever background comes with that preset light, that's what you're stuck with, unfortunately. Um, obviously, you can take the light off and then take it into, you take, sorry, take the background off, the dome, and still have the lighting and then go into Photoshop and then kind of add your own background or whatever uh, software you use to do your uh, post work in. You can take it into that and then obviously put your own background to that. So I'll just go through these. So the one I use the most, we can go through these. So uh, let's start with this one here. I use this one a lot here. I use a gray background. It doesn't really matter about the background. I mean, you can always take it off and like I said, go to, go to uh, Photoshop and then make changes. So here we go. So this is the one I've picked here and you can see the difference straight away. We've got these lovely catch lights here. I'll just uh, turn that off. What is these lovely uh, catch lights here. I'll just move my mouse away so you can see. And that's what you're looking for really. In your portrait shots, what you're looking for is that light. You'll see it in all the professional photographers' photographs. You want this catch light going into the eyes here. And that gives a sense of realism and you know really makes your picture seem alive. If you can get that in the eyes, you know, people be looking and thinking, oh, this is uh, realistic, you know, uh, it's very, very good. So you'll get that reaction if that's what you're looking for. So we'll go through the different lights here. So we've got white light here. You get a bit more kind of like a white, white light. There we go. So you can see the different color of this. See the, it affects the color of the skin. So the, the kind of light you're bouncing, the, the light that's bouncing off the skin and off the hair as well. Uh, so you get different effects. So you got to think about what kind of effect you're looking for. So when I use a warm light, you'll see uh, the different kind of effect you'll get. There we go. See the skin looks different and even the catch lights look different. So you really got to think about, consider what kind of light do you want? What will it represent? So if when I go to the cold one, you'll see it looks uh, more like a bluish tone. There we go. More of a bluish tone. So because it's got this kind of tone, it gives a slightly colder kind of uh, meaning to the to the to your image to your render so you got to consider that so i'm going to go back to the original here with a mix of everything warm to cold just wait for that to load all right so now once we've chosen what our light we want for example we can choose the direction so here the default is actually straight on so the cameras the light is actually coming straight on at it at your face right here so we could change the angle where we want the light to do. So we can obviously change the direction using our render settings. So I go to render settings and it's like the uh, dome rotation. So that's all it's doing. It's just like quick presets. So you're not fiddling about with these sliders here. These are just quick presets that are already there. So you can just double click and see the change straight away instead of you kind of guessing 
you can see all you have to do is double click and the change will happen. So that's what it, it's basically like presets are saving you time. Um, time saving you a lot of time, obviously a lot of like hassle changing settings here and there. So literally you are saving a lot of time and effort with your lights. And if you don't really understand lights, light presets are a great way to get you started. So even though I do recommend that you kind of learn about the three point lighting system uh, and kind of put your own lights into get an understanding of how you know your figure changes, the way it looks, the way it changes when you put different lights in. Um, that you know, I still recommend that you learn that. But this is a great way for you to get started anyway using light presets. So we can change the angle, and then we can see um, the different effects. So now we got like uh, the lights coming from this direction here. So therefore, we got shadows here. So we can go on and on and on doing that. And then further down, we can choose the actual uh, color. So I'm gonna choose the color, the actual uh, tone of the actual image. So we can go to cold here, and it's gonna go like a, it's gonna go like a, like a blue. There we go, like a blue there. And then oh, we can have a slightly warmish color and see how that looks. There we go, slightly warmish tint to the actual overall image. And we can even go black and white. And that's how it would look like in black and white. So you don't even have to go into Photoshop. Like I said, you can do everything here in Dash Studio, render it off and then, you know, stick it on Instagram or wherever you want to stick it or whoever you want to show it to. And you've done it all in Dash Studio. So I'll go back to the default. Uh, actually, we'll go back to the color, sorry. There we go. And then further down, you can choose the intensity. Now this is the actual intensity of the light. So the default's uh, 100. Uh, we can go to something like 160. Actually, we've got something like 170. You'll see it's going to get a lot brighter. There we go. So the actual intensity of the light, the actual brightness of the light's gone brighter. The direction hasn't changed. Nothing's changed. It's just the actual intensity of the lights. So there we go. So basically, that's it really in terms of light presets. Every one of these light presets come with all these options here. Um, so the next one I like to use a lot is with paper tiger i really like paper tigers i've got loads of paper tigers here the one i'm moving to the most is this revolution one i really like this revolution one so this one here is got different sections here different folders so hdr lighting so here we go we can choose the lighting it even gives you a nice uh, picture of what it will look like so i think the one i like the most is this one here um actually it might be i think it was this one here i can't remember now but there you go. So you can choose now. Obviously, clicking on the clicking on these, it doesn't look like I like it straight away. So what we can do is go to environmental rotation, and then we can start rotating the dome and see what effect that makes. So like I said, it's a it's just basically quick presets. You're saving time. You're not going to the render settings and then changing the dome here and guessing and kind of saying, oh, let's try 135, let me type that in. You're probably saving yourself a few seconds, but you know, that all counts. Uh, let's try let's try this one here. There we go. Say, say maybe I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna go to the environment settings and then you could change the dome intensity here. So say if I want like, okay, I want, uh, I want it to be a bit more brighter, 150. There we go, it's more brighter. We can also select the blur on if you want to here. Uh, sorry, blur here. There we go. And then we got uh, different lights. So we can have different lights here. So you can change it. This one you can actually, uh, says here, select the spotlight first. So I want uh, this one here. And then you can choose, you know what, I want a bit of a green. And then you can choose all these cool things uh, depending on what preset you use. You can even do the tone mapping. So you can create like different tone mapping effects. There we go. And you see the difference. We've gone from something that was okay with the original HDRI that uh, Dash Studio comes with to something like this, which looks amazing. So which is really, really cool. Um, and you can see the difference that actually they make. So the only issue, the kind of cons with uh, preset lights, the light presets is you can only use them for like images like this. So where you're doing like portrait shots or you're doing um, character shots of the whole body or something uh, is the only is the only um, thing you could do with light presets. You wouldn't really use light presets in um, 
these kind of light presets anyway in your for example your kind of like normal images that you would normally do your normal renders it just doesn't work like that there are some here that you can do um, I think things like dream light and dim dimension theory they do uh, these kind of ones here where uh, let me just go to this one here where they actually got HDRIs here um, actually I'll do it now we'll do here to show you what it looks like So what's happened here is that the light. So these are actual. There we go. The light. The actual map is pretty low. I need to just turn this up. So we've got about five. There you go. And then you have got the background there. So you can do. There are like light presets for HDRI backgrounds per se. So you can use them for that. But generally, light presets are useful like portrait shots and to kind of show off your high level quality of work. So an example of this would be, so when you go to the DAS store, and for example, when you go to a DAS store like this, and there's this just random character that I picked, you don't have to buy this, I'm just showing you a random character. And you see these shots here. What they've done here, there's actually probably used light presets. So if you look at the background, see, it's just like a normal background, like you have in the light presets, like I showed you earlier. And they've got this awesome, uh, awesome look here. So that's what they do really um, to show off their character. So even here, the background is black and they've got the lighting coming through to show you the full effect of the character. So that's when you would use light presets when you're doing these kind of like model shots, portrait kind of shots. Um, that's when the, you would really use these. All right, so there we are. Some fantastic information there about light presets. Very simple, very effective to use and adding that punch to your renders. I still recommend you learn about three-point lighting, but if you want to skip ahead to light presets, that's cool too. And in next week's video, we're going to look at the geometry editor. And while you wait for that video, check out these videos here. Hit the subscribe button over there. Leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in next week's video.